My entire life is kind of revolving around cats right now. It's all I've been thinking about. It's all I've been doing. Long story short, I found a bunch of kittens in a sewer a few weeks ago that I've been taking care of. So I currently have five cats in my house. I kind of already was a cat lady before all this happened, but now I've like evolved into my final form. I'm cat lady extreme at the moment. But you know, despite all this, I haven't really been doing a lot of cat stuff in The Sims. So today I kind of want to build a cat lady house. I have definitely done this kind of thing before, but not to the degree that I'm thinking right now. I'm not 100% sure what I want the main actual house part to look like, but what I have been thinking about a lot is like catios and screened in porches and ways that I can incorporate that for the cats. So my thought right now is that it might be cool to have like some sort of separated catio that's attached through like a tunnel or like a walkway. And then there's a main house that's a bit smaller. And then that main house also might have a screened in porch. So the cats have like two dedicated spaces for them. I'm not all that concerned with the interior. Like the Sim doesn't really need that much stuff. It's, it's more about the cats. I do also have a small household for us here. We've got my Sim self and a whole bunch of cats. This is my cat Snap, who I've obviously had for a long time. And then we got Frankie, the mom, and then all three babies, except I only see two. Where's the third one? Oh, <gasps> shrimp! <laughs> what are you doing all the way over there by yourself? Can you come back? Oh my god. Okay, well anyway, I'm, I made all of the cats that I have in my house right now in the game. I'm not planning on keeping all five of these cats in my house. I am planning on keeping two of the kittens and obviously my, my existing cat. That's not really um, up for discussion. <laughs> She's 15 years old. She's not going anywhere anytime soon. That's my best friend right there. But my family is going to take in Frankie, the mom, and Sam, one of the babies. So they're all kind of staying in the family. I did make a whole video about them. If you want to watch it, I can link it down below for you. But today is more about Sims builds. I kind of don't really care about the house right now. I'm more interested in the catio. So I'm going to start there. So the vision that I'm having is like a separate building with screens all around it, kind of using these screens from the greenhouse kit. And then I want to try and fill this completely with like all cat stuff everywhere. I do want to have a door into it, one that matches because the humans have to get in there somewhere. But then I also wanted to have like a way for the cats to get there that's cat exclusive. Again, I'm not really 100% sure about my plans here on this one. I'm, I'm kind of just throwing out some ideas. But if there was like a walkway and then a door and then maybe a little pet door so that only the cats can get through on this path, I guess in real life this part would probably be closed off. Like it would probably be enclosed like a tunnel. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think I might let it just be open like a bridge. But that's kind of what I was picturing. Like a dedicated cat highway, hallway, whatever for them to access their space. It'll be different colors and stuff too. I'm obviously not done with this quite yet. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas. I wasn't really picturing the house being that big either, which I guess kind of poses a problem for us here because I don't know where the sim is going to be. Normally that wouldn't really be an issue, but in this particular instance, the sim is me. So I, I guess I, I would like to have a nice place to live. Oh no, I've got a terrible idea. I kind of want to do diagonal. This is probably a really, really, really not smart plan. <laughs> like there's not really any reason for me to be doing this. I just kind of like the thought of there being some sort of, I don't know, shape that's different somewhere, but it looks worse than I thought. So maybe, maybe it's a bad plan. Oh no, I've got a better idea. We can just separate it a little bit like this and I'll have the diagonal section be like that. Just give me a second. Okay. I realize that it's very strange right now, but it, it will come together so nicely. Flicting block clusters. What do you mean? Oh my goodness. This game really makes things so much more complicated than they have to be. What do you think a person should do about this weird corner? corner because it it really is a weird corner <laughs> and I don't know how to fill it. This is my initial thought. Maybe I could use this octagonal section because it doesn't show from the front and then from the back I can kind of fit it all together a little bit nicer. Maybe I can use a little bump out right here to cover it more. Oh, I mean, that's really weird. <laughs> the floor plan is is really strange. Yeah, I'm not really 100% sure where I'm going with this, but I have a feeling it's going to be nice. It'll it'll come together. Just give me time. <laughs> 
Give me time, I'll make it work. Okay, so I was picturing this front room would also be a little screened in porch area. Maybe I'll use a lot of the cats and dogs things, like the cats and dogs windows. So the front door will be right there. We have a little proper entrance. I'm kind of assuming that we're gonna have to close off some weird little triangle corners. And then my initial thought is that there could be a bedroom here, and then this weird thing is a bathroom. I don't know if I like that though, because it's a really, really weird shape. I'm just not really sure what else we could do with it, because everything I try looks weird. All right. Here's what I'm thinking, and I understand it looks very strange, but hear me out. I'm imagining there being kitchen cabinets kind of along this back wall. We'll have a little door for humans to get to the patio from right here. This area will become the living room. I'll pick different furniture, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just kind of laying it out. I'll do like an entryway table or something right there. We could probably put a little table in the kitchen somewhere like that. And maybe there could be a proper door like this again into the catio space. The cats could probably have their own little door also because it's just so cute when they do. All right, okay, I think I like this. <laughs> I think that we can manage this. You know what's so sad? I wanna put like a little window here on this open wall, but that is just a window to nothing inside the house because it's in that weird corner. Do you think the horse ranch shutters fit on these windows? Obviously, they're like a little bit small. <laughs> like in real life, these shutters wouldn't close. They're, they're not exactly functional shutters. They're more decorative, but I don't really mind that. I'm more concerned about how they look than how they act. Oh, look at the little yellow. That's cute. I am obsessed with these little shutters. I think that's so cute. We're getting somewhere now with this. Before I was kind of worried because all I had was the patio, <laughs> but this is actually gonna be good, I think. I wonder what would happen if I use this yellow. No, that's genuinely ugly, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. What if you, okay, what if you didn't use that yellow color, Kayla? <laughs> Stick to what you know. I always use this roof texture, but it really, it is the best one. At least in my opinion. I like it best. How about that? Now, do I want to allow humans to access this or should this section be like cat exclusive? Because I'm kind of leaning towards cat exclusive. You know, I'm also not really sure what I want to do with the roof on this building because I think it should be probably a different texture than on the main house. Maybe it could be metal. It could be lower too. Because we do want it to be cut. Covered. Like, I don't want it to get wet in there, but I don't want it to be a glass roof either. So I think the metal is a good compromise. Some columns on the edges will help too. Okay, I don't know about this foundation. <laughs> I do think I wanna have the foundation on this bridge part not be solid, cause I like how it looks as a bridge. It's just kind of cool that you can see under it. What about this? If there was like a slightly covered section on the porch? No, I don't like it. <laughs> I changed my mind. I tried, but I don't think it's good. I think the plain bridge was best. I wanna put a little fence in the backyard because I wanna sort of close in this area. It's kind of funny because I don't need to put a fence on this side because I have this bridge to block it off. I wanna get a little curvy pathway to fill in some of this area. And maybe I can make it kind of bigger at the front. Something that bothers me so much about this game is how the staircase like clips into the foundation and then also clips into the wall next to it. I feel like I can't use a railing because of that, which really isn't the end of the world. It's not that big of a deal. It just kind of bothers me. I think I might just paint the whole place white with this little paneling and then we'll add in a bunch of yellow accents. I'm picturing a lot of little sunflowers and other sort of bright yellow flowers. These are so cute. I'm gonna try and mix some of those in. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do big flowers like this, but I guess they do look really good. And then I can fill in some of the other open spaces with sunflowers. It's kind of busy. <laughs> it is kind of a lot, isn't it? What happens if I also get flower boxes? Oh, that's really a lot. I don't know. We might need to tone this down a little bit more. Oh, but I do like it. I don't really know what to do. The cats would probably like it too, because think about all the pretty birds and bugs it'll attract for them to watch. I'm overthinking this again. It's The Sims. <laughs> there's there's no birds or bugs to attract. I guess we could put a bird bath in it. We have this little bird bath item, and then we also have this adorable little bird feeder. So I could use both of those. Maybe I'll put the bird feeder in the back. Half the reason I wanted to make this is because we have that little cat mailbox. I have to put cheats on to unlock it. But look at how cute that is. We obviously have to use that. There's no question about it. There's not really a lot of porch to work with, which kind of makes this difficult. Oh, look at how cute this little paw print rug is. Oh, we have to use that. That is so adorable. Mm, this base game one's not gonna work because it's too dark. Does this come in yellow? No. Well, this is the one that I was looking at before. I'm not really sure about the wood color on it. There is yellow on at least one swatch of this, but 
again, the wood color, not really the vibes. I guess this wood does kind of match the stone though. So maybe that makes it better. I think putting landscaping like this all the way over here is a little bit too much. So I think that the flower box is like a good happy medium. I can landscape in this little corner. These flowers, by the way, in case you've never seen them before, are from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. Unsurprisingly, Romantic Garden Stuff actually has quite a bit of cute landscaping like this. I don't know much about these particular flowers in real life. Like, I don't know if they actually exist. And I also don't know if they're toxic to cats. <laughs> a lot of flowers are, but I'm not sure about these ones. So we're just gonna pretend that in this hypothetical scenario, they're not. Oh, this is so annoying. I want it to be a little bit closer. It's kind of tricky to alt place plants sometimes right up against the foundation. For some reason, these same plants look better in the backyard than it did in the front yard. I guess it's a bigger area, so they're a bit more spread out and it's less busy. But I'm gonna give the cats this little bird feeder to watch because they can sit in here and stare at it. I'm putting another bird bath right here next to the cats as well. This is kind of the dream. I wish that my cats could have this kind of backyard to look out at. I wish that I could have this kind of backyard to look out at. Trying again with the terrain paint because I want to have a little cute pathway going through the back like this. Terrain paint's kind of a struggle sometimes, but if you want to do cute little curvy paths, my best advice that I can give you, honestly, first of all, this one's bad, so don't take my advice too seriously, but the best advice I could give you is to just do it like multiple times because I struggle with it a lot. And to get it right, it sometimes takes takes me doing it like four or five times, just doing it and then deleting it and then doing it again. Basically trial and error is the way. I also don't like the shape of this one, so oh well. At this point though, the landscaping is pretty much done. I've got all of the bushes that I wanted to place down. So I'm gonna go in and put some dirt terrain paint underneath all of them. I also wanna put some dirt underneath the bridge. All right, so this is how the exterior is looking right now. I think it turned out pretty cute and I like the backyard a lot. What the heck, I placed this in the right spot and it like moved itself down. I was adding a couple of these little items up at the top of the roof, but now the whole exterior is done and we can start working on the inside, starting with the catio. So I think that there should be concrete or like bricks or something out here. Cause it is still outside. Like we have to keep that part in mind. We'll wanna get a little light as well. I guess the one problem with this place being not human accessible is I can't put food out here. <laughs> but that's okay. Cause I'll have food inside the house. I'll put their litter box somewhere else too. That's like more human accessible. They can have a little tree that looks out right here so they can watch the birds. I might get another tree over there. I guess I should use a couple different variants of the trees. The color scheme is kind of hard in here, so I'm not really 100% sure what to do. We can have beds, I'll get toys. I might get this little no dogs allowed mat outside the door. So speaking from experience, I know that my cats absolutely love this sort of texture on a little mat because they can like claw at it. Oh, I just got an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. We should get some little pots and have catnip in them. There's four kinds. There's nap nip, mad nip, <laughs> regular catnip, and also nuzzle nip, apparently. That's actually really nice. So I'll keep those in the backyard. I forgot, I have these little pots in the front yard still too that I haven't filled. I guess I could just put another thing of catnip right there for the functionality of it. Let's see. The cats also have some little scratchy posts that we can add in. Is it weird to have all the yellow cat treats? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if it's weird or not. There's like so much yellow happening in here, which maybe is a bad thing. I almost wish I had gone more plain and then we could add in color elsewhere. Oh, look at these little star lights. I'm gonna put them at the top. Oh, that's probably dangerous because that's very close to the top of this tree. That's okay. In The Sims, they don't touch it. So you don't need to worry about it. In real life, I, I probably wouldn't trust a cat to not mess with them. But again, it's The Sims, it's okay. One of the other ideas that I had involved making like a pretend cat wall. I don't really know how to achieve that in The Sims, but I'm talking about something like this, where people have like basically made a cat tree all along a whole wall. Again, yeah, not really 100% sure what I'm doing here, just kind of making pretend spaces that they could walk up and down and climb. I like the idea of something like this being like a support for it, but I also am aware that it looks kind of weird when it's raised up. That's kind of how it would be in real life though. They would have like little scratchy posts for them. Oh, how about that? We can put a shelf down here, kind of like attached to this little tree so they can hopefully get up from there. Or I guess I could move the tree over so it seems like it's a part of it. Okay, new plan. What if all the trees are purple instead? Cause it kind of gives us some more color to work with in here. I put some little toys around this. And then I also put like an ottoman bench over here in front of the window 
so they can sleep in a cozy spot. And I think that might be this first cat room done. And now all we have to do is furnish the entire rest of the house. I guess I'll start with the kitchen here because this is probably the most important part that we have left to add. I'll put wood everywhere else in the house. Should I do some sort of little yellow tile? Oh, look at how cute that is. I'm not gonna make the whole house only yellow, by the way, don't worry. <laughs> I know that I have my moments where I do stuff like that, but I, I will use a variety of colors in here. I do like it combined with this little blue tile, and, and then I'll probably pick a different dining table setup. I do kind of despise the color of this wood table, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I can be brave. Are there pictures of cats on any of these? Why is it all dogs? There's cat posters, but I don't really wanna put that in the kitchen. I might actually put that above the little doors to get into the cat rooms, kind of as like a reminder. It's like a sign, you know, cats this way. This is really pretty. Kind of a different vibe than what we've got going on so far. I don't know. I might have to come back to that because I'm not sure what painting to put here. This hallway is also so teeny tiny. We can't really put that much in it. I'll just get like a painting and a thermostat, I guess, because I don't want to make it so you can't walk through there. Realistically, we probably need a handful of litter boxes because in real life, if you have a bunch of cats like this, <laughs> You need a bunch of litter boxes. So I'll put one inside the bathroom. Our human toilet can go right here, maybe next to the window. And then I can get a sink back here. Oh, what if we did this color scheme in the bathroom? Cause then we can use the fun tile on the walls. It adds a little bit more to look at in here. It's not as boring anymore. Okay, I think that's the bathroom done then. I was thinking about trying to make a little custom built-in seating area for the cats right here, but this is annoyingly on a diagonal, which kind of complicates things. Okay, for the bed, there's a couple requirements, at least in my mind. Number one, I think it needs to have an under the bed because I want the cats to be able to go under there when they want to. And I feel like realistically, it's probably in everyone's best interest to have maybe a metal bed frame because then the cats can't claw at it. I know from experience now with my kittens, they really enjoy that. <laughs> they really enjoy trying to climb up the bed frame. So I'm just thinking logically about ways to make this easier on the humans of the house. That's kind of the wrong color, but I don't really care because I think it looks cute. Would it be so silly of me to get a ceramic cat of all of my cats <laughs> and put them up on top of the dresser? I have one tabby cat and four black cats in the house right now. I think I like it. I know it's kind of silly, but it's also kind of a cute little ode to the sewer cats and Snap. So I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause like, look, I mean, look at that. That's adorable. I suppose when you think about it, this kind of is my bedroom. So it's up to me what I want to decorate it with. And I have decided cats, lots and lots of cats. Okay, how about this? Fake flowers on that nightstand. Cause then no cats can get hurt by them. The candle over there might be a dangerous idea. Not hundred percent sure about that one. I personally would not light a candle in reach of my sewer kittens, but my old cat Snap doesn't have any problems with candles. When I say old cat, I don't mean like a cat that I used to have. I mean my cat who is literally old. She's like a little angel and causes me no issues. So it's uh, it's been an adjustment having the kittens around. Okay, here's what I'm thinking for the bedroom. I got this really cute checkered wallpaper. I've got a cat corner. We have our adorable little bed area and somehow it's so dark that I need a second light, but that that should be good for now. Growing up, we used to feed the cats on the kitchen counter so the dogs wouldn't bother them while they were eating because it was like up and out of the way. But I guess there's no dogs in this house so we don't have to worry about that here. Do I dare put more cat statues inside? Oh my God, look. <laughs> I can put three cat statues in there. That does seem like a little bit excessive. That's like a, a really large number of cats, almost to the point of being creepy, but it's okay. They happen to fit perfectly. I don't think the kitchen needs much more, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the living room. I'm not sure a fireplace is a good idea. <laughs> I think the fire might be the wrong idea. We could get a TV though. Do you think this paranormal couch would match nicely. I could use this darker color on it, unless I did my trusty little built-ins trick that I've been doing a lot recently. I must say, I just really, really, really like how this looks. I don't know if that color combo is good or not, but we can try it. I think that the sofa isn't working. So if we got a different sofa, but still kept this color scheme, it might work. We have this horrendous cats and dogs one <laughs> that I'm not really sure about, but honestly does kind of match. There's not a lot of yellow happening happening here. This one could always work too. Mm -mm. Don't like, don't like. We'll bring in yellow other ways. We'll find other little clutter pieces and stuff to use. Like a cat bed. 
bed. See, that's cute. I got a little desk here in the corner and there's still space for the cats to walk by. We do have this adorable little cat toy that I'm just gonna leave on the floor for them. And speaking of cat toys, I'm just gonna get a couple kind of scattered about throughout the house. I'm not too sure how much else we can put in this living area because it's quite small. I have been actively avoiding painting the walls this whole time because I wasn't sure what I wanted it to look like. I think the plain yellow is kind of cute. Oh, perfect. There's a cat on this swatch of this gallery wall. So I think the interior of the main house is done. We walk in through this little front door. We've got a living room, office, kitchen, dining room, <laughs> cat space, hallway. This is the bedroom and the bathroom. Now I want to add a couple things onto this patio. I would like to have a little tiny table just to sit at. Oh my god, I forgot about food for the cats. I knew I was missing something. Okay, there's a couple auto feeders right there in the hallway. And last but certainly not least, we've got the next catio. <laughs> the catio that is attached to the house. I'm gonna get kind of like a little nook over here for the litter box. Just just so it's slightly out of the way. That's the laser litter box. So the game is going to automatically delete anything they poop in there. You don't need to worry about cleaning it. I'll put a cat picture above it too. Okay, and then I was thinking in here, I want to have this be sort of a human hangout space as well. The other one is all cat, but I suppose I probably should give the humans a slight place to sit out here. I guess just with multiple cat trees kind of placed around throughout the area. I feel like that kind of works. Okay, I think the house might be done. This has been really fun for me. I don't usually build stuff like this where there's like screened in porches at all, let alone two screened in cat porches, but it looks pretty cute from the exterior. The lighting is very annoying. One bedroom, one bathroom. There is more space for cats in this house than there is for humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stick it. That's spelled wrong. I spelled my own name wrong. Lil Sims me. No, Lil Simsy. Okay, I'll stick it on the gallery for you in case you want to download it. And I think on that note, I might end this video right here. I really like that screened in porch item from the new kit. I guess the kit's not that new anymore, but it's so good for stuff like this. Oh no. Okay, it worked. It uploaded. Okay, I didn't save yet, so that could have been bad. And I guess I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I am embarrassed about how long this took me. Some of these builds recently I've been doing are so small and they take me hours.